The rainbow lorikeet is a species of parrot found in Australia. It is common along the eastern seaboard from northern Queensland to South Australia. Its habitat is rainforests, coastal bush and woodland areas. The rainbow lorikeet is a species of lorini, which is a tribe of small to medium-sized arboreal parrots categorized by their specialized brass-tipped tongues for feeding on nectar of various blossoms and soft fruits, preferably berries. The word lori comes from the Malay word luri, a name used for the number of species of colorful parrots. The choice of terms lori and lorikeet is subjective, like the use of the words parrot and parakeet. Species with longer tapered tails are generally referred to as lorikeets, while species with short blunt tails are generally referred to as lorries. The rainbow lorikeet is a medium-sized parrot with the length ranging from 25 to 30 centimeters, including the tail, and the weight varies from 75 to 157 grams. The plumage of the nominate race, as with all subspecies, is very bright and colorful. The head is deep blue with greenish-yellow nuchal collar, and the rest of the upper parts, the wings, back, and tail are green. The chest is orange, and yellow, the belly is deep blue, and the thighs and rump are green. In flight, the yellow wing bar contrasts clearly with the red underwing coverts. Juveniles have a black beak, which gradually brightens to orange in the adults. Rainbow lorikeets often travel together in pairs, and occasionally respond to calls to fly as a flock, then disperse again into pairs. Rainbow lorikeets pairs defend their feeding and nesting areas aggressively against other rainbow lorikeets and other bird species. They chase off not only smaller birds such as the noisy miner and the little wattle bird, but also larger birds such as the Australian magpie. Rainbow lorikeets feed mainly on fruit, pollen and nectar and possess a tongue adapted especially for their particular diet. The end of the tongue is equipped with a papillate appendage adapted to gathering pollen and nectar from flowers. In Melanesia, coconuts are very important food sources and rainbow lorikeets are important pollinators of these. They also consume the fruits such as papaya and mangoes, already opened by fruit bats. They also eat crops such as apples and will raid maize and shogum. They are also frequent visitors at bird feeders placed in gardens, which supply store-bought nectar, sunflower seeds, and fruits such as apples, grapes, and pears. In many places, including campsites and suburban gardens, wild lorikeets are so used to humans that they can be hand-fed. Some places include the Karumbin Wildlife Sanctuary and the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Queensland, Australia. Semitame lorikeets are commonly daily visitors in many Sydney backyards. Though many people, ignorant of their dietary requirements, feed them bread or bread coated with honey. This is an inadequate source of nutrients, vitamins and minerals that the rainbow lorikeet requires and can lead to health and feather formation issues in the young lorikeets. Packet mixes with nutritional mix suitable for feeding lorikeets are generally available from wets and pet stores. In southern Australia, breeding usually occurs from late winter to early summer, August to January. Elsewhere in Australia, breeding has been recorded in every month except March, varying from region to region due to changes in food availability and climate. Nesting sites are variable and can include hollows of tall trees such as eucalyptus, palm trunks or overhanging rock. One population in the Admiralty Islands nests in holes in the ground on predator-free islets. Pairs sometimes nest in the same tree with other rainbow lorikeet pairs or other bird species. The clutch size is between 1 and 3 eggs, which are incubated for around 25 days. Incubation duties are carried out by the female alone. Many fruit orchard owners consider them a pest as they often fly in groups and strip trees containing fresh fruit. In urban areas, the birds create nuisance noise 
and foul outdoor areas and vehicles with droppings. In Western Australia, a major impact of the rainbow lorikeet is competition with indigenous bird species. This includes domination of food sources and competition for the increasingly scarce nesting hollows. Bird species such as the purple crown lorikeet, the canarbi black cockatoo and the Australian ringneck are adversely affected or displaced. Rainbow lorikeets are mostly monogamous and remain paired for long periods, if not for life. Overall, the rainbow lorikeet remains widespread and often common. According to the annual BirdLife Australia census, it is the most commonly observed bird in Australia. These videos take up a great deal of my time from capturing to publishing. If you like this type of content, it would greatly help out my channel if you could share these videos with family and friends. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.